Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. If the title didn't give it away, the sun just woke up. Two X-class solar flares, another M-class eruption. Two days ago, we said there was an uptick imminent on the sun, and here it is. We've got quakes, cool science, and surprise mysteries at Jupiter, too, but we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. And the eruptions and flares occur on the sides. First to the right, and then the incoming active region goes off twice this morning on the left side. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the GOES X-ray flux to see the X-rays registered for these flares. First big spike is the X-class event departing, other two on the incoming limb on the left. M5 and X2 flare sequence this morning. This is X-ray light in 94 angstroms. The incoming group will begin to face Earth over the coming hours. More eruptions could send solar plasma our way. I'm 100% eyes open on that. Quick seismic note, six-pointer offshore of Greece, felt there and in Egypt, but no significant damage. Same story in Tonga, where they also are used to bigger quakes and build with them in mind. Let's go next to our top recommendation for viewing today, Dr. Robitai's talk from Observer Ranch opening weekend. Most of the ranch events are not going to be made public, but this one is. Check it out today over at Sky Scholar, his YouTube channel. Link is below. Next, we've got a quick comparison of WISE and Webb. This shows the difference between the last generation of infrared cameras and the latest ones. This amplified resolution makes a world of difference for astronomers. This is also linked for you below. And so is this. Our top story takes us to Jupiter, where James Webb is scoping auroral dynamics that Hubble, WISE, and others just can't see. From the solar storm impacts to the volcanic ion release and radiation belt trapping, they are seeing things in the Jovian aurora that they thought were impossible. In fact, even now that they do see them, they still have no idea what's going on and how so much material could be pounding the Jovian atmosphere. Maybe something to do with its shifting magnetic field. Part of the solar system shift certainly wouldn't be the worst guess here. Folks, don't forget the next issue of Observer Review is coming out tomorrow. It's the best way to support us and the best way to stay updated and in context with space weather, the magnetic pole shift, the disaster cycle, and more. It's the only publication on Earth dedicated to tracking and detailing the science and unfolding of the Great Earth Catastrophe Cycle. To dive deeper, come see us at Observer Ranch. Many special events coming this season. Next one is just three days away. Sign up for Observer Review, the e-magazine at the link below, and don't forget to come see us in person, observerranch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. I've got eyes on our star. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.